Hi friends, today I wanted to do just a short video on caring for your brushes because a number of you have asked me that question. So let me tell you first, some of my Princeton brushes I've had, I swear to you, I have had since college. Um, I'm not sure which one because I've got several of the 8 Velvet Touch Princeton. So that is a good brush to start with, but um, if you take care of your brushes, they will last you a long, long, long time. I've had this brush and I know the handle is a mess and everything else, um, but I, I take care of my brushes and I have several brushes that I've had for probably 20 plus years. So I'm just gonna show you a few tips on taking care of your brushes. Um, the biggest thing is, you know, you really wanna preserve their tips. And um, that's what I really think about. So first off, number one, just clean your brush once a week. Clean it for sure every time you use it. And what I mean by that is, um, hopefully you are using two wells for your paints when you're painting. So you have the one that you're washing your brush in and then you have your rinse. And when you're finished, just making sure that you're cleaning it really well. The way I can tell is if I wipe it on a towel and there's no color there. That way I know I've gotten everything out. If you need to clean it, you can always use a mild soap. I don't clean mine often with soap because I'm really good about making sure I get all the paint out, but um, I have used baby shampoo and I just put a little water and I just swish it around making sure not to smash your point and um, put hold it under like, kind of cooler water. You, I feel like if you use hot water, it might uh, damage the bristles. So I just use a warm or cool water and I just keep rinsing it until I've gotten out that baby shampoo. And um, that seems to do pretty well for me. I always, always make sure when I am done painting. So I've dried it off. I've made sure there's no paint in it and I will kind of squeegee it out with my fingers. So I just do this and it gets all that water out and it also puts it back into the tip. So you're shaping it so it dries. When I set my brushes down to dry, I either lay them flat like this or I lay them on my little brush um, holder that was made by the same woman that makes my wonderful custom palettes. Uh, you want to make sure, I know this sounds obvious, but you want to make sure when they're wet, you're not storing them like this because the paint and the, the water will go down into the ferrule. And what will happen is you'll end up with your bristles kind of splaying out as well as if you don't shape then that can happen as well and of course scrubbing sideways and things like that can also do that so make sure that um, you're reshaping them and you're drying them nice and flat also you would never ever put your brushes in any type of container of course point down that's kind of i think the obvious so that will help my next tip is just being a little bit aware i know i say this a lot when you're picking up your paint for me i try to pick it up like this um, not going in with the point of my brush and you will know because you'll get little drill holes in your paint. Um, so I try to do that. I try not to scrub back and forth, but honestly, I probably do when I'm picking up paint. Um, but all of that can scrub those bristles and it can cause them to kind of splay out and fray and break and so just being aware of that. Um, 
I already mentioned, you know, using brush holders, either something like this, especially when it's drying or flat like this. And when you're storing your brushes, just making sure once they're dry, you're storing them with the brush up. So that way, um, you know, there's no chance of getting paint or water in down into your ferrule. And um, I believe there's also a way, there's things you can buy that you can hang them, which actually would be really ideal, I think. Um, I've never had one of those, but I think you can buy something like that. And I tend to always make sure my brushes are all out in the open just so they have good air and ventilation. Um, let's see, what else? This is kind of a tough one because I love textured paper. So I'm always using cold press, which has a texture to it. Um, I love rough, which has even more of a texture to it. And what can happen is, you know, when you're painting, if you're scrubbing or you do a lot of dry brush, um, you can kind of damage the barrel or the belly of your brush. And so just, you know, those are just things that if that's how you paint, like me, I use rough paper, then it's just one of those things I need to do. But um, it's something to be aware of. For sure making, you know, I try to make sure I'm not scrubbing, at least with my tip. And I really, I work mostly wet and wet. I don't work much ever uh, dry brush. So not a big deal for me. My last uh, little tip I think would be, um, and to be honest, I have not tried this, so I can't vouch for this, but I have heard people talk about it. You can condition your brushes occasionally um, if they're really, you know, you wanna kind of revive them because they're all frayed out and kind of crazy. I That one I showed you, which is, probably 25 years old, could probably use it. At this point now, I just use this brush to, when I erase, to brush away um, kind of the eraser that gets on my paper. I don't paint with that brush. Um, but you can condition with a tiny bit of glycerin. Now, again, I believe you mix it with water. I don't use it, but I have heard of people who do that. Um, so kind of up to you, but I promise you, if you take care of your brushes, like I've been pretty good about, you can keep your brushes for a long, long time. And to me, the biggest ones are keeping them clean, always making sure there's no paint in them. Uh, when you're done with them, putting them, shaping them back into that point letting them dry, laying down. You could even use like a little chopstick holder. That's what this reminds me of. Um, and of course, never going into your paints with your tips. Those are kind of the ones that I really pay attention to. So I hope that helps you. Again, I've had some of my brushes for 20 plus years and um, you know, they're Princeton brushes and they've done really well. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll do my best to help you out. Or if anybody has some um, comments on that glycerin, I'd love to hear it because I've never used that. I just use a tiny bit of baby shampoo and some water and I kind of um, mix it around in there until I get any of that paint out. All right, everybody, as always, have fun and happy painting.